Hey, beautiful soul. Listen, I've got a quick message and uh, I wanted just to kind of get this out there because this is really, really cool. This was in the Sunday Times this morning. Uh, someone sent me a link to it. Britain's most senior police officer has apologised after it emerged that everyone prosecuted under the Coronavirus Act had been unlawfully charged. This is massive. OK, think about this sentence. Under the Coronavirus Act had been unlawfully charged. Under the Coronavirus Act had been unlawfully charged. Now, acts are for slaves. Acts are for citizens. Acts are for corporations. Acts are for the birth certificate. You know, we've talked about this. When you're born, you become property of the United Kingdom Corporation, the Corporation of the United States of America, wherever it is that you're from. And acts only apply to corporations. You, your name, Mr. Whoever you are, me, Mr. Jerry Sargent, is a corporation. OK, they can only apply acts to corporations. Now, this copper is saying they were unlawfully charged. What he's saying is that under common law, as long as you don't, you know, kill someone, harm someone, encroach on their property, steal from them, cause them duress, you've not committed a crime. And he's come out and said that what they've been doing is completely criminal. It's completely unlawful. They're not allowed to do what they've been doing. And, and this is Britain's most senior police officer has apologised. 44 individuals have all been, the cases of 44 individuals have all been withdrawn or set aside because they were wrong. The Crown Prosecution Service has revealed. A further 12 people who were charged under another trance of, of, of coronavirus legislation for slaves. The Health Protection Coronavirus Regulations have also had cases abandoned due to errors that usually involve Welsh regulations being applied in England or vice versa, the CPS said, and the CPS is the Crown Prosecution Service. So what they're saying, OK, is that as long as we don't break the law, we've not committed a crime. And... Breaking the law means you can't kill, you can't harm, you can't steal, etc. You can't cause duress. Now, this is beautiful because it shows that the police are turning. The state officials that have been trained by the government, they've been trained by the powers that be, are starting to turn on their own people. They're starting to turn on their own bosses. They're starting to say, this is bullshit, enough is enough. They're starting to realise that we are divine sovereigns and that they can't enforce these statutory rules and regulations on us. They can't pull us over. They can't say that we're, we're committing a crime because we're out in the streets because of this virus. It's completely wrong. And now they're coming out and admitting it. And this is in the Sunday Times, so this is beautiful. Remember, you are the power. And when you stay in your heart and you be in love and when you decide to take action, knowing that you're a sovereign being and that you're not doing anything wrong by traveling the lands that are owned by universal intelligence and not by the Queen of England or whoever else it is. They're our lands. They're the children of Mother Earth's lands and Mother Earth herself. It's for all of us to share. So when you drive your car and you walk around you know, this two metre rule, it's all bullshit. They can't fine you for this stuff. So just know this. And for all of those people that are out there like sheep, you know, thinking that people should be arrested for breaking the two metre rule, let's send them a bit of love. Let's send some love to those sheep. We love you sheep, okay? And we do respect you. But it's very important that you realise that you're following a protocol that is bullshit, okay? Please know this. No disrespect to you, because I was brainwashed at one point. I woke up, okay? Like many, many others. And if you're still a little bit brainwashed, it's important for me to 
put you in that category of being a sheep. So hopefully it will make you look into your own consciousness and think, hmm, why do people keep calling me a sheep? Let me actually look into this a little bit deeper. It's no disrespect. I love you as my sister or brother, but please wake the fuck up and smell the coffee because we got a change. This copper, he's changed. Britain's most senior police officer has apologised after it emerged that everyone prosecuted under the Coronavirus Act had been unlawfully charged. Things are starting to tip. Things are starting to change. So let's ride this wave. Let's open our hearts even wider. Let's speak our truths even clearer. And let's take this across the line, wherever that line is. Freedom, baby. You know the line is freedom, but how we actually cross it and when we cross it, I don't know. But it starts with you. It starts with you waking up and realising that when we band together as men and women, as sisters and brothers, as a global family, we can crush these statutory rules and regulations and we're going to ignite the spark, that divine spark in the agents of the state. And then they're going to turn around. They're going to be on our side. And then our side is just going to grow and grow. And those few men and women at the top of the tree, at the top of the pyramids, with the all-seeing eye, <laughs> they're going to come tumbling down. It's magical. This is just such a beautiful message. Anyway, I wanted to share that with you. You rock. You're amazing. I love you unconditionally. Get out into this world and do what you want. Because you're a divine, sovereign being. And no one, no one can tell you what to do. As long as you don't kill anyone, harm anyone, steal from anyone, encroach on anyone's property, cause any duress, you are not committing a crime. Understand that there's legal and there's law and you're a divine sovereign. So you come under the common law. Slaves, citizens, they can stay in the statutory rules and regulations if they like. But you, you know better than that, okay? You're woke. You've awoken, you've awakened. <laughs> you know what is going on. So let's open our hearts even wider, beautiful soul. I'll see you again soon. One love, one heart, one human family. Peace out.